There's certainly been an increased awareness of the dilemmas technology imposes on our sanity and success. And organizations are taking a lot of efforts to support employee well-being through health screenings, home office subsidies, meditation app subscriptions, and flexible working conditions. But most initiatives, while important, are not specifically addressing the technology strains staff continuously encounter. Resisting digital distractions, developing routines of deep focus, and determining how to manage an onslaught of incoming messages each day are all things that fall upon the individual employee to figure out. And when these tech-induced stressors are faced alone, it can be easy to internalize the struggles and form guilt-driven beliefs of not being productive enough or focused enough, which can in turn lead to more frenzied efforts and higher susceptibility to digital distraction as employees try solving or escaping their shame about underperformance. To break these unhealthy patterns, my mission is to create collective spaces within organizations for everyone to come together to better understand and combat common problems that arise in our digitally inundated work environments and lives. Through my Taming Tech virtual masterclass, I identified the four main reasons we feel compelled to check digital media so often, explain the neuroscience behind our tech habits, and facilitate thought-provoking activities to encourage participants to start devising pragmatic, sustainable solutions on the spot. The experience, informed by my extensive media research and years designing professional development trainings, is highly interactive and customizable, with polls, chats, breakout rooms, and relevant supporting resources. It's so important to me that employees feel empowered to confidently navigate their digitally inundated lives so they can enhance their well-being and work performance. I hope this is something you're passionate about as well, so we can work together in equipping everyone with the knowledge and skill sets they need to thrive in our tech-centric workforce.